In this video, I'll demonstrate and explain the part coordinate system for coordinated motion of multi-axis mechanisms in MotionWorks IEC. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. Here's a quick preview. A part coordinate system, or PCS, is a coordinate frame that exists in a convenient location on the part. Use PCS as the chord system input of the MC move blocks and assign the vector position relative to the origin of the part. The origin of the part is simply a vector offset from the origin of the machine. Use the frame type transform block to calculate this offset by recording three points on the part. And use Y group set frame offset to activate the offset on the mechanism. Now let's look at this in more detail. The position of a multi-axis mechanism can be defined with different coordinate systems. The focus of this video is on the part coordinate system, abbreviated PCS. This is often referred to as a user frame in robotics. The PCS is established as an offset relative to the machine coordinate system, the MCS. The MCS origin is usually located in the base of the robot. Other coordinate systems defined by PLC Open include ACS, TCS, and WCS. The example in this video will be a three-axis delta robot mechanism that places steel balls on a tray. Each position on the tray can be defined in the MCS. The MCS origin is located up in the base of the robot with the z-axis positive direction pointing down. This can make programming less convenient and intuitive. Mathematical position calculations will also be more complex depending on the orientation of the tray. And if the tray is moved, all the points will have to be recalculated or taught again. This is all simplified if a new coordinate system is established on the tray itself. The PCS origin is defined as an offset from the MCS origin. There is the translational offset in Cartesian directions x, y, and z. Here I'm estimating negative 300 in the x direction, 100 in the y direction, and 400 in the z direction. And also the rotational offset rx, ry, rz. In this example, 180 degrees of rotation about the x-axis points the z-axis up instead of down, and 120 degrees of rotation about the z-axis to point the x-axis in the required direction. The PCS offset can be calculated mathematically, but it's often measured using the mechanism itself. With PCS moves, the tray can be oriented in any position or angle of inclination. All recorded points follow that PCS offset. You could even use a vision system to automatically detect the position of the tray in order to recalculate the offset in MotionWorks IEC. Likewise, there could be several trays with several offsets, each using the same positioning sequence. The Delta robot could even be replaced by another mechanism, such as a Scara robot, a six-axis articulated robot, or even a mechanism with custom kinematics. A different mechanism will have a different MCS origin, but once you determine the new PCS offset, that move sequence can stay the same. Now let's look at this Delta robot example in real life. The robot picks and places steel balls between a linear formation and a square formation. And I have the MotionWorks IEC project open here to monitor. The natural home position of the mechanism is when each axis is at zero degrees with the arm horizontal. And you can see that the axis position right now is zero. You can also see the MCS, the machine actual position, is at zero for the X and Y coordinates, but it's around positive 487 for the Z coordinate. This is because the MCS origin is up in the middle of the base of the robot. Currently, the positions are programmed using the MCS coordinate system, and a different POU sequentially feeds the vector positions from these arrays named square points and line points, and repeatedly executes this move block. I'll look at a few of these points here. 
point number one, number two, number three, and number four. It is not convenient or simple to calculate these positions unless the tray is aligned with the MCS coordinates as it is now. The robot base had to be carefully adjusted to be parallel to the tray. With PCS, I will be able to reposition the tray to any arbitrary orientation, even at an angle of inclination. For convenience, I would like to program with the origin at the hole in the bottom left corner, the plus x direction to the right, the plus y direction away, and the plus z direction up. And move the four balls from a linear formation on the x-axis to a nearby square formation. The process to make this happen involves two important function blocks. Frame type transform and Y group set frame offset. Frame type transform calculates the PCS frame offset vector. The input point OO is the position of the PCS origin using MCS coordinates but this only establishes translational coordinates x, y, and z. Input positions x, x, and x, y establish the rotational orientation of this part coordinate system. So I'll have to move the mechanism to record each of these three positions. Y group set frame offset simply applies the result to the group, which in this case is the delta robot mechanism. The offset will be applied to set the PCS with reference to the MCS. Common practice is simply to move the mechanism to each of these three positions and teach it. To accomplish this, you do have to attach a tool to the robot with a defined point and overlay a calibration template that shows the desired location of the origin, the X direction, and the Y direction. The robot is at position OO. I'll record that MCS position as the origin. Now move to anywhere along the x-axis and record that MCS position. Finally move to anywhere along the y-axis and record the position. And that's it, so remove the pointing tool and the calibration template. Now on to the frame type transform block. Execute the block and here's the result. This block uses the vector array data type, which supports up to 32 degrees of freedom. The first three elements are the X, Y, and Z translational components. And the second three are the RX, RY, RZ rotational components. A simple function block converts this to the MC Cartesian ref structure data type used by Y group set frame offset. Execute this block and you'll see what happens to the offset. That part offset is applied to the delta group. Now I'll run the machine with PCS as the input to the MC move linear block. But first look at the array of positions it still has the original MCS positions, so I'll recalculate that. And now we see that the first position for the linear formation is at the origin. Up to the fourth position at x equals 76.2. And similar results for the other array. I think you'll agree that the positions are a lot more straightforward than they would be if these were MCS positions with the tray in the current location. Okay, let's run the sequence. And there you have it. You can see the sequence of positions right here. And under the group, we can watch the actual position and compare that to the machine coordinate positions. With the correct PCS offset, this tray could be in any fixed position, rotation, or angle of inclination. You don't need to worry about exact alignment and calibration between the robot and the part. 
If the trays come in at slightly different orientations, you could use a vision system to determine the offset adjustment. I could set up different trays or even different PCS offsets on the same tray and run the same positioning sequence for each. And remember the programming is not even specific to this Delta robot. A different mechanism will have a different MCS origin, but once you determine the PCS offset, the PCS move sequence is the same in MotionWorks IEC. Thanks for watching this video and go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of MotionWorks IEC 3.